Gateways are flow objects that allow you to fork a process. Oracle BPM supports the following types of gateways. Exclusive gateways, event-based gateways, inclusive gateways, complex gateways, and lastly parallel gateways. Let's look at exclusive gateways first. An exclusive gateway can be set up with many possible paths that the process token can fork into. But when it executes, the process token will fork into just one of those possible paths. Now how does the process token choose which path to take? There are conditions set up on each one of these paths and whichever condition evaluates to true, that's the path the token will take. Now the evaluations can also be ordered so that if more than one condition is true, then the process token will take the path the first path that got evaluated to a true. In cases where none of the conditions evaluate to a true, the process token will follow a default path. Let's look at event-based gateways now. Event-based gateways are similar to exclusive gateways in that the process token will fork to one of several possible paths. It differs from an exclusive gateway in that instead of choosing a path based on expressions, it's going to choose a path based on the receipt of a message. Until the gateway receives a message, the token will wait at the gateway. As soon as the gateway receives a message, the token will leave the gateway. You can also set up a timer task so that if no message is received within a set time, then the token can exit the gateway. Let's look at inclusive gateways now. Unlike an exclusive gateway where the process can get forked into one of several paths, the inclusive gateway can split a process into more than one path. The process token can flow down more than one path depending on how the conditions get evaluated. Tokens are joined at the merge of the inclusive gateway. When one of the tokens reaches the merge gateway, it waits until the other tokens arrive there and then it leaves the gateway. You must also define one default path. If none of the conditions evaluate to a true, then the process token will take this path. Let's look at a complex gateway now. A complex gateway is similar to an inclusive gateway in that the process token can split into several paths based on which paths have uh, expressions that evaluate to a true. In an inclusive gateway at the merge end of the gateway, the token waits until all other tokens arrive. In a complex gateway, you have a little more control over this. You can define an expression in the merge gateway so that the token can leave the gateway even if all the tokens have not arrived at the gateway. Just like an inclusive gateway, if none of the outgoing sequence flow expressions evaluate to a true, then the token will follow a default path. Let's look at parallel gateways now. Just like the inclusive gateway, the parallel gateway is also a split merge gateway the difference is that the outgoing sequence flows do not have conditions defined on them and the process token just gets split across all the outgoing sequence flows. At the merge part of the gateway, the token just waits until all the tokens from all the sequence flows reach there. Once all the tokens reach the gateway, the token leaves the gateway. 